Hey there guys, um, so in this video I wanted to show you how I made Windows 11 look like Windows XP. Um, this should work on Windows 10 and Windows 7 as well, though if you're on Windows 7 I would like to briefly urge you to consider other options or upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, with that being said, um, in the description I will have a link to all of the resources below. I will also have a folder that you can download with links to these websites as well. And the reason why I'm not re-hosting uh, any of the things that you can download is just for security reasons. Their license allows it, but you know, I'd, I'd much rather you have the latest version. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go over everything here one by one. And for starters, the most obvious option uh, the most obvious thing here would be Retrobar. Now, in a previous video, I actually went over this. Retrobar is a taskbar replacement for your Windows computer. It comes with all sorts of things, such as the Windows 2000 theme, Windows ME, Windows XP Classic, and even the famous Windows XP Blue theme for your the uh, uh, taskbar. Uh, there's a whole bu a bunch of other tiny options here that you can select. Uh, you can check those out on your own. Um, but the next thing here is the open shell start menu. So yes, this is the Windows XP, um, the Windows XP menu. Maybe not perfect, but that is that is what it is. So you can open open shell menu settings, and there's a whole bunch of options here. You can choose the different various styles that you'd want your start menu to look like, even the classic theme. I'm using classic with two columns, and I'm actually using a custom theme called Windows XP. Um, you can change the skin of these as well. Uh, in the description, I'll link to the theme that I'm using for Windows XP as well. Um, now, the next thing on our list is the Windows XP icons. So as you can see on my desktop, I have the Windows XP icons for the specific things, such as the recycle bin. Um, now, you can change the icons very easily if you go to settings. Um, it'll be different on Windows 11, I mean Windows 10, but if we go to settings, personalization, and then we go to themes, we're going to click on themes, and we go to desktop icon settings, it will bring up this little panel here, um, which will let us change the icon. Now this is where the DLL file gets in. So I put the DLL file in System32. I would be very careful where you put your things in System32, so I would recommend not actually putting it in window, uh, System32. But once you open that specific shell DLL file, you can change the icon to whatever is in there. And as an example, I have the icons changed to the specific icons that are on Windows XP. Um, now I'm going to put the recycling bin back here. Now. I also have my folder changed to a Windows XP icon, and you can do that yourself by going to uh, right-clicking, <laughs> right-clicking on the icon, going to Properties, going to Customize, and changing the icon from there. You can go back to your shell file, and then you can change the icon. So again, shell 32XP, and then you can change the icon to whatever you like. And I just have it as a standard Windows XP folder. Um, now the last thing on our list is the most obvious one, and that would be the Windows XP wallpaper. So in the description, I will again link to the Wallpaper Hub website with the Windows XP wallpaper. Um, wallpaper Hub is a really great website, actually. Uh, it has all sorts of really great wallpapers. You can download the one for your specific resolution or the specific device you have, and then set it as your wallpaper. But that is pretty much it. Um, Thank you for watching. I hope this was of help to you. It might not be one-to-one, -one, but it is good enough for someone like myself. Uh, have a wonderful day.